Hello, Orchard Hill Church. I am loving this series that we're in on Ephesians right now. Uh, I'm teaching on Ephesians 5. I love the way it begins with Paul's encouragement to us to be imitators of God, to walk in love and light. Just like Jesus loved us and became a fragrant offering, laying down his life for us, uh, he encourages us to do the same for others. And this first uh, few months of the year, um, it's been amazing to see so many of you just doing that for so many other people in our church, in our community, in your families as well. Uh, I even go back to just how we started February, giving Bibles to uh, 42 second graders in our church. What a beautiful picture of helping next generations encounter and follow Jesus. They can walk in love and light just like Jesus did. In Grundy Center, we kicked off um, the Easter season, kind of the Lent season, with an Ash Wednesday service, over 125 students from Grundy Center, really helping people reflect on the sacrifice that Jesus made for us and what it looks like for us to become a sacrifice as well for others. Just a powerful picture of Grundy Center. In Waverly, we are still celebrating the return of Ben Patterson and his family and the light and the life that they bring to that campus. In fact, I talked to Ben earlier this week and he shared a few stories with me uh, that he's celebrating in the first few months of his return to our staff here at Orchard Hill Church. Hey, it's Ben Patterson and I'm at our student room here in the Waverly campus. And as I think about the first quarter of 2022, one of the ministry highlights that comes to mind for me is our Chaos Ski and Shop. You know, thinking about the pandemic, our teenagers haven't had an opportunity really to go on a student ministry trip. And so for 10 of our middle schoolers to join up with the other campuses and load up charter buses and drive up to Minnesota for a weekend of jam-packed fun and learning about Jesus and developing friendships, we are still riding the momentum from that trip. And as I look forward to the next quarter, I'm excited to continue seeing God at work as we develop healthy spiritual relationships and live to help next generations encounter and follow Jesus to bless the broken world. Oh my gosh, the, uh, the stories of the connections that were made, new friendships that were made, students and leaders uh, being able to connect with conversations on chairlifts, uh, the worship, the laughter, and the whole thing uh, as people encountered Jesus and took steps in their faith. Who wouldn't want to be a part of a church who enjoys God and one another uh, in that way? We also sent a team of 17 leaders and young adults to Jamaica to the Caribbean Christian Center for the Deaf, where this team uh, learned about the deaf community, they learned sign language, and they learned an awful lot about what God is doing in Jamaica. We are also having an impact in Ukraine through many of our leaders here who are working so hard on uh, feminine hygiene kits through Days for Girls. Of course, uh, we've had some really hard and difficult things, some, some tragic things that we've had to deal with in the first few months of 2022 as well. And we continue to pray uh, for and with our families who are grieving the loss of loved ones. Uh, in the midst of this darkness, um, it's been amazing to see so many of you walking in light and caring so well for these families who are hurting. Uh, I've heard so many comments from people outside the church who are talking about how Orchard Hill Church, how the family of Orchard Hill Church just cares so well for one another. Uh, and they start by asking what does the family need and then ask what does the church need and they just get busy meeting those needs. And it's an incredible picture. Uh, again, it's the kind of church that I want to be a part of. Uh, we've seen a number of people in uh, connecting through our 40 days of investing in others. We had over 50 people show up for our serve day that was part of 40 days of investing in others. A lot of them were young people, uh, kids, and they got to help us encourage our partners at Love Inc. by, by making a meal and serving a meal uh, to, to, those, uh, to those fine folks over there. They also decorated cookies and they were able to take these cookies home. They had people in mind in their neighborhoods that they wanted to take these cookies to so that they could be uh, light and love right in their neighborhoods. And the best is yet to come. From what I understand, this huge Palm Sunday celebration is coming up. You're gonna to wanna to be sure to, to check that out. Um, there's gonna be uh, great ways for you to learn about our partners in Mozambique and Haiti through these interactive stations. Things like an animal university, a growing project, there's gonna be a sign language table, all kinds of cool stuff that's happening on Palm Sunday. You wanna get on our website and you wanna find out more information and be sure to join us for that. Lastly, I wanna encourage you to consider giving a gift to our 2022 
building fund drive called Let's Keep Going. Uh, we have a goal to raise $400,000. We're already almost halfway there with $170,000 already in pledges and gifts. Really to accomplish three things, uh, to pay down our debt, to make a permanent home in Waverly, and uh, for some much needed building improvements and maintenance in Cedar Falls. Please consider giving a gift to our building fund beyond your regular giving to our general fund. And let's keep going. Let's keep walking in love and light to our families and our neighbors and our communities. Thanks.